Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in the winter wonderland. Ginger ale, hallelujah. Welcome to Dear Hallmark. This is a space and place where we nerd out, gush out about Hallmark movies and Lifetime Christmas movies specifically. Because I can't get down with all that true crime, I killed your mother last summer and I'm about to kill your, your sister this fall type stuff. That's not, and I don't have the bandwidth for that. So this season we're going to be reviewing Hallmark and Lifetime Christmas movies. And I have the first Lifetime Christmas movie to present before you, the Hallmark Academy. First of all, how are you doing? My name is Dara, if I didn't say. Oh my goodness, I just realized. I don't even know if I introduced myself. Um, yes. So, the first Lifetime movie we're going to review is titled The Christmas Aunt. And it stars Keisha Knight Pulliam, who is famous for her role as Rudy on The Cosby Show. So, the premise of this movie, we have Rebecca, who's the working aunt played by Keisha Knight Pulliam. She is a art, some type of, like, art dealer seller marketer something in that sense she works at an art gallery gallery and she helps her boss sells the pieces in the gallery um and she abruptly has to go home for two weeks because her sister and her brother-in-law they're going away on a trip and their mother was originally supposed to watch their children but um their mother broke the leg broke her leg and so now rebecca has to fly back home to watch the kids. So she works in LA and home for her is Nashville. So she flies back to Nashville and throughout her course of those two weeks, she is legit taking care of the kids, watching the kids, taking them to their winter concert rehearsals. And she realized when she got home that there was no Christmas spirit to be found within its walls. And she said, oh, no, no, no. This cannot fly as long as Rebecca is here. And so she stays up all night and uh, decorates the house and she begins to do this 12 days of Christmas kind of journey with her niece and nephew. Um, and the 12 days of Christmas was actually something that she did with her best friend, Drew, who we find out is her niece and nephew's music teacher for the winter concert. So they reconnect, they were the best of friends growing up. And so as they reconnect, you know, Feelings were shared, um, the hearts were opened, you know, pains resurfaced, wounds resurfaced, and they went through this troubled time, but all to get back to the reality that they've always loved each other. Like, you know. But here is where I would like to submit that, you know, this movie for me... <laughs> Now, I don't know if we're going to give the same... I'm going to just give this the same Hallmark rating to the Lifetime movies because that's all I know right now. I'm going to give this movie flat out two crowns. Because... And I'm going to just be honest. I didn't believe Keisha as... Like, I just was like, Keisha girl, what, what happened? Like, I, the acting wasn't doing it for me on her part. And... The two crowns really comes from the male lead. His name escapes me. It'll be in the description if you care. Um, he carried it for me. Him, him really, like his voice came across as caring, warm, inviting. His tone was sweet. Um, you could tell that he really cared for her. And I would not be surprised if he acted that way in real life because he sold who Drew, who, who what I believe to be Drew was, you know? So, um, I, I, I liked his character. I thought the mom and the mom having a, a, like a romantic interest was cute. Um, oh, can we talk about Rebecca's boss for a minute? I'm going to swell this event because this is a bougie moment. Um, her boss in LA was dressed to the nines, tens, elevens, and twelves. And I loved every moment of it. Um, every time her boss came on the screen, I was checking out like, okay, so she put that flowy, uh-huh. I loved it. Loved the wardrobe on Rebecca's boss. But Rebecca's boss's attitude? 
Return to sender. No me gusta. I don't want it. She did not care about family. She was just all about the money. I got to sell. I got to sell. I got to sell. To the point as to like a meeting that her and Rebecca were supposed to have on the 28th was pushed up to like Christmas Eve. And she's like, well, you better get here because we need to meet with this client. And I'm like, sis, it's Christmas Eve. And so Rebecca ends up going there and she's like, listen, you know, she ends up obliging her boss and when her, she, so she ends up missing her nephew and niece's winter concert. And so her mom sent her a picture of the niece, the nephew and her sister and brother-in-law together. And she's like, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I quit. This is, she leaves and you know she talks about her her all like her love that was always you know her ever burning flame for her best friend um and it was cute it was really really cute um again the acting just wasn't <laughs> on her part i was like oh and like legit it pains me to say this because i le- i i hope for the best you know but I'm like, man. So, that is the Christmas Aunt. Do you watch Lifetime movies? Can we talk about the difference between Lifetime movies and Hallmark movies? My Two of my favorite, hands down, ten toes deep, my favorite Lifetime Christmas movies. F- flat out, The Flight Before Christmas. With, um, oh, dang, what's her name? I know the homie's name is Ryan McPartland or something like that. Her name, Mayim Balik, I think her name is. I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not, you know, butchering up her name. But she's from The Big Bang Theory. Love it. It is everything I want. It's the petty. It's the sarcastic. It's the Christmas. It's the I don't know you. I don't like you. But all of a sudden, wait. Okay, you're not that bad. Like I, I love that. And then we get that same, but with a with a hallmark key, we got Andrew Walker and Bethany Joy Lynch, who I think they are they're my favorite pairing. And they need to do more movies together. They actually did a Hallmark movie called Bottled with Love, which was this was the first Hallmark movie that actually made me tear up at the at the end. Like that ending. As cheesy as it was, and I never tear up on Hallmark movie endings, except what well, you know we saw Never Kiss a Man in a Christmas Sweater. But like this one, because I saw this one on my birthday, y'all. I don't know what it was, but when he started professing his love to this woman, I just started. I don't even know why, but like that movie was so beautiful, and Andrew Walker and Bethany Joy Lynch have some of the best chemistry in the game. In the game, and I love it. Those are my two favorite. Um, Snow, I'm sorry, did I even say the movie? Snowed in Christmas. It stars Tasha Smith from Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? Um, she's in it as Bethany and Andrew's boss. And they're like, again, two competing personalities who are put up for the same job, and their plane ends up getting grounded. And a lot to do with planes and getting grounded in snowstorms. I'm noticing a theme here. But um, I went on longer than I needed to because we're not even talking about the Christmas aunt anymore. Hello. Yep, I'm going to be watching Lifetime Christmas movies as well. And I think I said this in the last video. Let me know what we're going to do about Netflix movies. I think I'm still going to watch them, but would you want me to review them? Jury may be still out. The Academy, let me know your decision. The Board of Hallmarkies, the Hallmark Board, Board of Directors, let me know your decision. But that will conclude this review for this installment, our first installment of the Lifetime Christmas Review. Okay, we'll just call it the Lifetime Christmas Review. There you go. I will talk to you guys in my next video.